Hi everyone and welcome to this part about Linko instruction. As always, we will go and create new project and check hardware configuration. The default CPU is K508 40AX and I don't need to change it in this video. So in the main window, I will go to instructions list and open the additional category to find the Linko function. We will use this function to scale the analog values. In the Kinko CPUs, if the analog signal is voltage or current signal, the read value is multiplied with 1000. And if the analog signal is uh, from RTD or thermocouple, the read value in the CPU is multiplied with 10. So we will use Linko function as a linear conversion to reach to the correct value for analog signals. Okay, we will continue with one example. In one air conditioning system, we are using one PT100 sensor with the range of 0 up to 600 to measure the temperature. This sensor connected to the one transmitter with current output. The final 4 up to 20 milliampere current will connect to the analog input of the PLC. Okay, for this example, we will go and change some hardware configuration. For this example, please pay attention that the, in the hardware configuration window, we should add some uh, IV modules for measuring current. For example, I'm using one analog input module with four channels that support voltage and current as a analog signal for input. After clicking on this module, we can see the setting. We can see that it needs 8 bytes from the CPU memory, and the address starts from 0. Actually, every channel uses one word. For this example, we will set one of the channels into the 4 up to 20 milliampere range. Here, channel number 0 means AI word 0. And then return to the main window. Okay, the EN operand is main activating command for this function, and we can use some bits that always is activated, such as SM0.0. .0. Okay, the in L and in H values are related to the signal that comes from transmitter and delivered to the CPU input. Actually, in this example, the temperature range convert to 4 up to 20 milliampere and deliver to PLC. In this example, the in L equals to 4 and in H equals to 20 milliampers. But the point is, we mentioned before that in current or voltage input, the value will multiply with 1000 in PLC. So we should use 4000 for INL and 20000 for INH. And the format is integer. The operands of OAT L and OAT H is the period that we want to convert the current to it. Actually, here OAT L and OAT H is the range of PT100 sensor. So here the OAT L is equal to 0 and OAT H is 600. 
As these values are real value for temperature, so we should use real format for these values. Okay, the ratio operand is one constant ratio. And normally we will use one in real format. In the IN operand, we will uh, set some memory that includes the source value that we want to scale it. Here we are using channel zero of analog input or, or AI word zero memory. The function will save the result in our old operand in real format. And also we have rounded value of R out in the D out operand with double integer format. So we will assign some separated memories for these two operands. Okay, we can compile the program and then download it to the PLC hardware. Then we can check the situation of the system in online monitoring mode. Okay, let's go for another example. This time we want to connect the PT100 sensor directly to the RTD module of Kinko CPU to check the temperature of the environment. So we will go to change the hardware configuration. I will remove the previous module that support voltage or current for analog input. And I will add another module that support RTD sensors directly without any transmitter. I choose K53104RD module that support for channel for RTD sensors. I click on it and open the setting. And here for better performance, we should set the used channel as PT100 and set other channels to resistance. Okay, return to the main window. As we mentioned before, we are reading some RTD sensor with some RTD module. So in internal calculations in the CPU, the value will multiply with 10. So in this new example, just we need to change INL and INH. In this example, we should set 0 and 6000. And after compiling the program, we don't have any error. Thank you for your attention to this part.